Hi everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you about something that's very, very scary in the photographic world. So hang tight and be prepared. I'm Robert Maxfield and I've been a concert photographer in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for well over 45 years. And I've covered major bands of just about every genre and type. And um, what I'm going to cover in this video is going to be really, really, really something scary about photography that's going on. And uh, so I'm going to do that in just a second. Okay, seconds up. So there you go. What I'm going to discuss right now is my very, very, very first Sony mirrorless camera. Right here. Okay. This is the MVC. MVC? I don't know. I got the name on it on top of it. And it's called the MVC FD85. This little jewel came out in the year 2000 and is one of the very, very first Sony uh, digital mirrorless cameras. It would take pictures at 1.3 or 1.4 megapixels. 1.3 megapixels. And what it used for storage uh, media was floppy disk. Yep, floppy disk. So this camera right here is 12 years old and it handles in one shot 56 times what the entire disk holds on this. I took this Sony camera with me on vacation when I went to Mexico and I took photographs at Tulum, the Maya, ancient Mayan ruins, and it was perfectly fine. Part of the problems with this camera originally was, one, it used floppy disk, and whenever you took a picture, if anything was moving, it took forever for it to write to the disk, and it was real slow. So you take a photograph, and it... Oops, the battery died. It happens. Well, you know... So anyway, I was talking about the memory in this thing. You couldn't shoot anything moving real fast with it because when you took the photograph, it would take forever for it to write from the, the machine, from the camera to the floppy disk that was on it. So I took a train trip and was taking photographs out the window and every single one of them were blurred. The reason why it was gathering data as it was... Uh, taking the photograph is like it had like a real slow shutter speed and it really didn't so uh, these cameras also had a thing called a memory stick that uh, you could put in a in the floppy disk cartridge and put it in there and uh, then it would write to the memory stick but that wasn't much better I remember getting uh, a new Sony camera mirrorless camera after that and it had a new media called the uh, the memory stick and it had a Zeiss, uh, Carl Zeiss lens on it. And I love that camera. It's a beautiful camera. It's right here somewhere. I'm looking for it. But uh, you can't get that kind of memory hardly without a headache anymore. And uh, you have to have something that will read it. So uh, that's kind of a problem. So what the scariest thing is and what makes it scary is this camera was made originally in 2000. It's 2024. And technology has advanced so far, so fast, that now we're dealing with cameras, a 12-year-old camera that takes one picture that is 56 times the total capacity of this camera. And today's cameras are even more advanced than that. So we're talking this uh, 1.3 megapixels, we're talking cameras now. I think some of the Fujis are up to 100 megapixels. So... Um, technology has gone so fast but the problem with it is the technology that stores your data changes and if you don't keep up with it you, you're going to lose what you have in your pictures so uh, there's nothing right now that uses three and a half inch drives that I can tell anymore and um, memory um, the memory sticks are, are almost non-existent there's two variants of those by the way and um, that's the scary part about uh, modern digital camera. So this is my first Sony mirrorless camera. Very first one I owned. I took some great shots, 1.3 megapixel, down at uh, Tulum, the, the Mayan ruins in Mexico. 
and uh, the pictures came out really really pretty good they're nice but they're still 1.3 megapixel uh, by today's standards that's a sand painting so hey if you found anything enjoyable at least out of this video press that like button you know we're our channels growing we're going pretty good um, please go ahead and subscribe if you got any questions comments concerns confusions anything like that man put them in the comments and I'll, I'll try to answer as many of those as I can and uh, we appreciate you viewing and uh, we'll see you later thanks bye <laughs>